Let's think about pelvic floor. There's all sorts of modalities that deal with pelvic floor, and I propose that there's an easier way to have the pelvic floor settle down. We want to make sure you're eating plenty of fiber and all those things, and if you need to see a doctor who's an expert in this kind of thing, go see a doctor. I think of the pelvic floor as very reactive. So those muscles are there to hold you from falling out the bottom. So if there's a lot of pressure pushing down on the pelvic floor, well, the pelvic floor has to be reactive and it has to push up against that. So in my opinion, the experiment to try is to lower your inter-abdominal pressure. That's what we want to do. But you can do that, and that's with the big movements that I teach. You come out of the tight front pattern, come out of the arching back pattern, and de-escalate the size, and change the whole global pattern of tension that's running in your body. The big picture. But if the pelvic floor has had to be on a lot, your brain's good at running that. How do you remind those localized pelvic floor muscles how to relax. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see, well, what does it take to really control and relax the pelvic floor muscles? If you're lying there in this semi-prone position with knees up and feet are on the mat or on the bed, if you have a horizontal line uh, in front of anus and behind the genitals going right across, and then there's obviously you can have a vertical line that's left side and right side. Think about the pelvic floor as four quadrants. So let's just, we want to we want to tune into controlling some of these pelvic floor muscles and we want to be able to observe when they come on and when they don't. So uh, gently come into an arch of your low back. You're riding up onto the back pockets and you have just a gentle arch, not into any pain or discomfort. And just a little bit, clench the pelvic floor. Look at where does it, where does it turn on? Is it the front of the pelvic floor or is it more to the back of the pelvic floor? For me, it's the back. Just turn on wherever it goes on in this arch. Okay, And hold that effort in the pelvic floor. Hold the pelvic floor exactly that tension as you slowly lower out of that arch. Keep holding the pelvic floor. Hold it on in exactly that same way. Don't let it go. Don't let it go yet. And let the back lower down and hold the pelvic floor. Back is relaxed. And slowly let the pelvic floor go. Just let it rest. Let that section come to rest. Okay. Let's try that again. Arching back. Come into it enough. Tighten pelvic floor. Clarify exactly where you're holding. Hold the pelvic floor as you lower out of the arch. And this time, let's try and lower, uh, let's try and release the pelvic floor carefully and sl slowly, little by little. Can you let it out? Maybe little steps. Slow it down a little bit. Okay. This time, we're going to tip the tailbone up a little bit. Abdomen tightens to push low back into the mat, not straining or stretching your back. Okay, tip it, tightening the front of the abdomen. And tighten the pelvic floor now. Which part likes to tighten? Maybe it's the front. Maybe it's wherever, wherever it is. Tighten that while you're in this pattern of tension of the tight front. Relaxing, hold the pelvic floor just the way it is. Hold the pelvic floor exactly how it is. Okay, get a good grip on it. Tightening the pelvic floor, really grab it. Okay, and hold that pelvic floor exactly that way as you relax out of the front. See if you can do that. Hold the pelvic floor right there. The front relaxes, holding the pelvic floor, and release the pelvic floor. Okay. Now, I, I suppose you could put your hands behind the head. And if we curl up now, hands lift head and tighten the front and tighten the pelvic floor. Okay, hold the pelvic floor tight. Holding the pelvic floor tight as we lower the head down. Lower the head down, hold the pelvic floor exactly that way. Don't let it go. 
Now slowly, pelvic floor releases, slow, 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 let it out little by little. When is it completely released? Okay. Think side belt loop. Side belt loop pulls up toward armpit, okay? It's like the side bend. I'm going to push my head and my feet over there to my right, okay? I'm closing the side of the body. I'm pulling side belt loop and armpit together. One side of the body is tight, okay? I'm going to tighten up the pelvic floor. Where does it turn on? Ah, that's interesting. Is it, is it more one side than the other? Okay. Grab a hold of it. Hold it exactly that way. Relax out of the full body pattern while you hold the pelvic floor exactly that way. Hold it just on one side, exactly like that. You've got it. Well, now, show your brain how to let it relax. How do you slowly, slowly, slowly let that go? There you go. Again, tightening one side of the body. I'm closing the side waist. I'm closing the side ribs. It's side belt loop to armpit. Close it on up. Feet can push over to the side. Head can push to the side. Okay, tighten up pelvic floor. Okay, get it just right. Hold on to it. Relax the full body. Holding the pelvic floor in that one asymmetrical pattern and slowly relax out of that. Slowly let that go. Let's try side two. I'm sliding my head just, it's like the back of my head is trying to slide on the pillow, okay? And feet are trying to slide on the mat to find armpit and hip and pull, they pull together. It's the side bend. And is it good if you know the side bend? Okay, that's the one to know for this movement. Side bend, but we're lying on our back. Tighten up the pelvic floor now. Look at that pattern. Holding. Hold it. Slow. 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 Hold it. See if you can hold it. Let the body relax only holding the pelvic floor in that one position and slowly let that go. Less and less effort. Less and less effort. So it's completely gone and relaxed. Just one more time. Feet push to the side, head pushes to the side, armpit and ribs close. It's like I'm bending them. The, the, there's really pushing against the mat. I'm trying to close that one side. Okay. Tighten the pelvic floor. Grab onto that. Hold it exactly the way it likes to chime in. Holding pelvic floor exactly that way as you back out of the full body tension. Slowly. Slowly. Hold that. And let that go slowly. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All the way to nothing. It's important to give those muscles a rest. A lot of nerves go through those muscles and uh, to solve some of the nerve, nerve compression issues, it's really good to train your brain to have a lower tension holding, to lower Lowering tonus is what we're doing here. Can you change the automatic tension holding pattern? Can your brain get used to that? If you did that before you went to bed, really gently, and you'll get better at it if you practice it, at tightening just each quadrant. Let's even tr t go to the next level if we want. We can arch the back and add the side bend. Can you find that quadrant? Could you go through the cycle? You can flatten a little bit and add the side bend. Could you find just that quadrant? Another arch, side bending the other way. Can you find just that quadrant? Could you go through the cycle like that? Could you flatten, side bend that same side? Can you find that quadrant? And could you do the whole cycle on your own out of that? 
Okay. Can you control your pelvic floor? That's all it is. Can you control the pelvic floor? Can you show your brain how to let the pelvic floor relax? Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com. Blessings on your journey.